Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can send MS form response with multiple attachment to your email ID using Power Automate. As you can see, I have this employee feedback form which includes all type of column including text, number, date, choice, checkbox, radio button, rating and upload file. Once user submit this form, he will receive this kind of notification with all the attachment in your email with all the form response. Let's just talk about how we can create this. I'll go in my Power Automate, try to create an automated cloud flow. I will name it uh, forms to email and trigger will be when a new response is submitted. Create in form ID, select your form name from this drop down. In case you don't find your form name, scroll down enter custom value and you can put this id in place of that all right so we have uh, this form name available we'll select this next step will be get response detail and the form id here will be employee feedback form again and response id will be our response id next step we're going to do is we're going to initialize a variable. We're going to initialize a variable with name file upload and the type will be array because we can have multiple attachment. That's why we are creating the variable of type array to store multiple files. The next step will be control apply to each of json and it will be the output of this upload supporting docs which is our attachment field and for each attachment what we're going to do is we're going to say get file content it will be one drive for business in case you are creating a group forms then you can select your sharepoint trigger because for group forms the file gets stored into a sharepoint site sharepoint team site and for normal form it gets stored into your onedrive for business so i'll select onedrive for business get file content and in the file content i will go item question mark brackets single quotes i will select id click ok you can select a link as well, which will be the output of this get response detail. You get link and ID both. So I'm selecting ID. You can select link as well. And the next action will be we want to <coughs> append into array variables. So append to array variable name will be file upload. And what are the value you want to append here it will be name and content byte from where you can get that i'll just showcase you that if you go to the next step select send email and send email v2 we have here if we go to show advanced option you will see this uh, attachment area here and if i just type name test and just test here and go to this uh, switch to array you will see this is the structure it requires in order to get the attachment so for that we are creating it here into our array append format okay so what we're gonna do is uh, here in the name i'm gonna say again item single quotes and just type name here it will be dynamic and remove this uh, entire content byte we don't need double quotes here and we'll store the output of get file content into our content byte so that means for every attachment we are getting the file content from onedrive from business and then appending that to our file upload variable with name and content bytes property once we have that we have to just simply 
put it into our this attachment field. So in this attachment field, we will simply add this variable file upload value. That's all we have to do to get the attachment. And in the two, you can uh, select any user email that to whom you want to send the email. I will send it to myself first. And uh, I will say form response. All right, and in the body, so I will say form response again. And I can select and now I will name all of these column and against that I'll put their dynamic value. So let's suppose uh, there is a full name. It will be a little bit lengthy process. So I will uh, fasten it. So in the full name, you will get it your full name from get response detail. And likewise, I'll do it for all the fields. So once we have selected uh, all this data, uh, nothing else we need. So what we will do, we'll just save our flow. Once our flow is saved, we'll go to our form and try to fill in the input. So I'll just save my name here, because things, my contact number, I'll put some things, date, I can select any things any input I will say yes I'll give the rating and in the multiple choice I'll select multiple choice and the file upload I'm gonna select all files and we'll see how it's work I'll click on submit okay the forms it's submitted if we go to our flow our flow is running. We'll wait our flow to end. So you'll see that our flow ends successfully. That means we should receive an email notification. I'll go to my Outlook. I got an email and you can see it's an email to me, form responses, all the response and all the attachment. If I open this Word file, or these Excel file or this PDF, you will see everything is opening fine. The attachment is working fine. The only thing that you can see here is uh, which training you would like to attend in future, it's sending the response in this format. We don't need this uh, opening brackets and this double quotes. We just uh, need data you know this multiple choice in the simple terms for that what we can do is you can raise a compute statement here just raise compose and in the expression I will type replace and what we need in replace function that is uh, this particular field that was this is a multi-choice so which training you need so our string will be which training you would like to attend in future and we want to replace comma and in single quotes I will say opening brackets not the closing one and replace it with blank all right so once we have done this i'll go to first and before replace i will write one more replace here and i will go to end then put comma and this time select the closing parenthesis and replace that with again the blank close the brackets go back to front again type replace again 
just writing third replace go to the end comma single quotes this time i'm going to select these double quotes okay and i'm going to replace this with again blank close the brackets okay and uh, in the send email which training you would like to attend in future instead of this i will just write compose output and save this we'll test for already succeeded trigger our flow ran successfully go to outlook and this time around you will see it is replaced with a simple comma separator and all the files are as it is we are getting as attachment there could be one more thing uh, on this particular form that you want is whenever user make any of the choice you want to send email notifications to different user so let's suppose in this case we have this radio button choice was it helpful if i select yes then it should send email notifications to different user if no then different user and if maybe then different user how you can achieve that go to your flow again before send email add an action i will say uh, select a switch control control and switch and in the switch i will select the field first so field is was it helpful just to double check yes and the first value of was it helpful was yes no and maybe okay so if it is yes then we're going to do something next will be no and third will be maybe okay so we have already created a structure here right and uh, what we're gonna do next is copy this to clipboard go here copy this to clipboard it is not getting copied so maybe what we can do is we can just drag and drop it here and uh, close this one it will directly not copy it from clipboard so for that we will have to copy it from clipboard outside first and maybe one more from copy to clipboard okay and then now go back to our switch case and drag them into each of the case here and similar goes for case 3 right and now if was it helpful yes then it will send email notifications to myself if it is no then maybe what i want to do is i want to send it to someone else let's suppose i type this username and in the case of maybe maybe i will uh, select the different user sharma this case all right and save your flow i will uh, say test put uh, any number select date answer and just type yes this time we are pa and in upload file i will upload any of the document click on submit form response submitted we'll wait our flow to run it succeeded five seconds ago we'll go to our outlook you will see that i received a notifications because i have selected was it helpful yes and now if i submit another response and uh, this time i say test one select anything any date no this time this one upload file select the excel one this time and submit 
form submitted. We'll wait our flow to run. Flow ran successfully. So you will see in the successful one, if we go to the switch statement, you see the expression result is no and the case two is successful. The first one is uh, and has skipped. All right, and third is also not ran. So then this one, that means I will not receive an email notification. You see, I did not receive any email notifications. So the email goes to this particular user in this case. So that way you can add a uh, conditional branching to your uh, MS form response as well and can send all the attachments to your email directly. I hope you like this video. If you do like, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.